Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ashok from TechieB, and today we have Mi UI 9 for OnePlus 5. And if you guys want to download the same, you can go to the description below and download from there. Pretty stable ROM I've been using since two days, and I did not find any kind of bugs. You can check out the specifications from here. Android version is 7.1.1, Mi UI version is 8.3, which is based on 7.1.1 Android. It has the security patch of 1st November 2017 which is pretty outdated and guys this is a chinese based room you need to flash magisk and after that you need to use system app uninstaller from play store to uninstall all the chinese applications available on their room and to install google application you need to have google installer version 1 do not use google installer version 2 because that won't support this room as of now it is not supporting i've tried with that only version 1 is supported i'll put up a link in the description below you can use the same now talking about camera it is working fine no issues in that video mode everything is working fine and videos are also getting saved properly no issues in that this is an outdated application going to settings here you can see it's version 2.0.0 i did not try to install the latest version but if you guys want you can just give a try and uh, fingerprint scanner that also works fine as you can see it's pretty much fast you just need to touch the fingerprint scanner and your device gets unlocked Talking about home screen, you just need to pinch in going to settings, here you have transition effects. You can also choose the default screen from here and after that you have fill up empty screen, you can lock the screen layout. Going to more, you can choose the default launcher, if you are using any other launcher you can choose that. You can select multiple applications to move on the screen, from here you just need to select multiple applications and you can move them on the different screen. You don't have to select individually. Swiping towards your left hand side will give you smart assistants which have few shortcuts and other things available you can just check them out and this is a notification drawer you can search anything from here tapping here will give you all the quick setting tiles so now let's go to the settings here you can find some basic options like bluetooth wi-fi under display you have options of brightness level system font text size auto screen rotate talking about themes you get two themes by default one is the limitless and one is the default theme but you can also download other themes from the theme store additional settings give you options of button and gestures notification light headphone and effects one hand mode which is working fine so as you can see you can choose from 4.5 inches to 4 inches after that you have accessibility backup and reset options you also get option of dual app as you can see i have selected hdfc and now i have two apps which is similar to parallel app the feature which is available on Oxygen OS. And one of my favorite feature on MIUI 9 is the split screen and quick switch. So you just need to double tap the recents to move to the last application used and you can also use split screen mode over here. So tap recents, you get an option of split screen, drag the application and the applications which are not supported it will give you a message over here. So let's select settings over here and keep it in the split screen. So down you will see the applications which are not supported you will get a message and the applications which are supported you can directly tap them and use it in multi screen or the split screen so guys these were the things available on this room this was just a overview and everything is working fine on this room i have been using since two days the day it was rolled out you can visit xga forum i'll put up a link in the description below you can download from there and guys once you are download you just flash it with the twrp recovery after that you just have to do one thing is you need to remove the Chinese application. So before doing that, make sure you install Magisk. And once you have installed Magisk, download the APK file that is system app removal. Download this file, open, give root permissions and delete all the applications which are in Chinese. So I have deleted all the applications from here. Then I used Google installer version 1 to install the Google applications. It's just like a normal application. You install that application and give the permission. It will automatically install Google Play Store. And as you can see, it is working fine. I can download any of the applications from here. There is no issues in the downloading. And if you remove Chinese application, it is a daily driver. Only one thing which I found may be a bug that is a third party camera applications. As you can see, I have installed open camera. If I try to run this application it does not run and gives me an error only this is a bug which i have found it on this room and pretty stable for daily driver 
if you guys have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day